Okay. Hi, my name's uh, Wendy Deval Andrews. I teach occupational health psychology in the work and organization uh, psychology track. And I'm here today to tell you a bit more about the uh, courses that we offer in this track. Um, now first, what's good to know is that the program adheres to standards set by the European Network of Work and Organization Psychology, which basically means that we uh, look at the, organization, uh, the psychology of work and organization from three different angles. Uh, the first angle is called work psychology, and work psychology focuses on the uh, specific tasks that people engage in in organizations. Uh, the course you'll be offered as part that takes this angle is uh, occupational health psychology, so that's uh, my course. And in this course, we look at the effect of these uh, specific tasks on the people that engage in these tasks. Um, and we look at both the negative outcomes of uh, these tasks on people, so think of things like um, burnout and stress, uh, as well as positive uh, effects like uh, work engagement, flow, uh, and just general well-being. And we also tie into uh, social trends and cover topics like, for instance, work-life balance and um, the effect of aging on work performance. So that's the first uh, angle we take. The second angle is called personnel psychology, and from this angle you'll uh, follow the course called personnel psychology. Um, now an important uh, topic in uh, personnel psychology is called fit, which is basically uh, the fit between uh, the person and a job, so having the right person in the right job. Now this is one important way to ensure both uh, happy employees and good work outcomes. Um, and you'll think about how to uh, realize th fit through uh, designing good selection procedures as well as good um, career development programs in organizations. And as a bonus uh, in this course, I think you might also manage to better, uh, learn to better manage your uh, own career. Okay. So those are the uh, first two angles. The third angle is called uh, organizational psychology. Uh, in organizational uh, psychology, the focus is on larger uh, on groups and organizations and the larger organization as a whole. So tasks, people, and groups. Um, in this, uh, from this angle, you'll follow two causes. Uh, the first is called workgroup psychology. And in workgroup psychology, well, you'll learn all about uh, groups and teams in organizations. You'll talk about uh, structural differences between teams, things like um, how are the tasks divided between group members and how is knowledge distributed uh, among members of groups. And you'll look at social processes. Uh, think, for instance, about uh, groupthink, where uh, members of a group tend to think in the same way, or the free rider problem, where uh, some group members free ride on the work and effort that other members put into uh, team tasks. Um, and at the end of this course, hopefully you'll better uh, be able to work as part of a group uh, as well as lead uh, groups yourself. So that's uh, the third course and the fine f fourth and final course is called uh, Leadership and Organizations. Uh, and in this course, well, you'll talk a lot about leadership. Uh, leaders are thought to be uh, crucial for uh, getting good outcomes in groups and organizations. Uh, and this may or may not be true to a certain extent, and that's one thing that you'll think about and talk about in this course. You also cover topics like charismatic leadership, power and empowerment, and at the end of this course, um, you'll, uh, you should be at a better able to uh, manage your leaders and hopefully be a better leader yourself.